Hi, I'm Reverend Aliyah Kemmler, and welcome to day 18 of A Good Enough Lent with Kate Bowler and Jessica Ritchie. And today's reflection is called Hello, Goodbye. This is slightly adapted. A life is made up of so many beginnings and so many endings. We start new jobs and leave old ones. We move to new cities and leave our childhood hobbies in our parents' basements. We become new people, slowly. Friends and relationships come and go, hopes appear and then they fade away. If you're under the illusion that you haven't changed, just pull out an old diary or clean out a messy closet. What's that you once devoted your life to scrapbooking every memory with a custom laser printer? You used to run cross country. We are different and so are the people we loved. Just try writing down the names of your closest friends from five, 10 and 20 years ago. Who were we? The strangest part of change, I suppose, is how it occurs as a series of small funerals. We lay our dreams to rest. Goodbye, love, you lit up my world. Goodbye, job, you were the mold that I poured myself into. Goodbye, self, I need to let go now. A friend is changing jobs, and she finds herself crying over a small thank you email from a colleague. Another has discovered that her marriage is ending and there's nothing she can do. They are stuck trying to account for two simultaneous truths. One, the world I loved is ending, and two, it happens every day. I have many delightful friends who try to solve the sorrow inherent in change by giving up change entirely. Routine becomes a bulwark against the threat of pain. But suffering, explained the author C.S. Lewis, is the order of nature. Avoid it and you will find that you've squeezed out life itself. Six months ago, a good friend discovered that her partner was unfaithful and that their marriage was over. Her son would have to say goodbye to spaghetti dinners, to road trip harmonizing in his bedroom with his stickers on the door. She would be leaving behind a high school romance, a decade of friendship, the smell of his skin at the beach, and immeasurably more. As a new mother-son duo, they would have to say hello to a new life, a new school district, new friends and habits, and the courage to climb a ladder to clean the eaves of an aging new home in the spring. When I spoke to her recently, I noticed that the unthinkable had happened. Everything had changed. She learned how to do plumbing. She even had a date scheduled for Friday. And she still cried when she makes spaghetti dinners because family dinner is not what it was supposed to be. Not every change is gonna be transformation, but every change can be an opportunity for grace. Did we become better? or worse, softer, or quicker on the draw, God will show up regardless, silently pouring forgiveness and encouragement into our two open hearts. And here is a blessing for hellos and goodbyes. Blessed are you on the brink of something new, a new life. Blessed are you, dear one, so full of hope, whose horizons extend far beyond what your eyes can see. And blessed are you closing the door on something you once loved, when the weight of the world rests on your, soul, on your shoulders. You who sit in grief and despair and may be a little fearful for what happens now. May you, dear one, find comfort from places and people you don't anticipate who remind you that you are not alone. You may be saying goodbye to something, someone beloved, but something new will be born. I cannot promise it will replace what was there and I won't try to tell you it will always be better. But I do believe that we can find beauty and meaning and truth right where we stand in our transitions in our hellos and goodbyes. Mm -hmm.